Hello everyone, Jorge Huertas once again with all of you. Today I'm going to show you what is and how to use the tool Thinking Out Loud. Well, this is a testing tool. It got the following characteristics. Through a constructive interaction, the user or a group of users will be asked to carry out a series of tasks, asking them to narrate their thoughts out loud, a fact with which is possible to obtain very valuable information. Users are asked individual or in groups to express out loud their freely thoughts, feelings and opinions about any kind of aspect, design, functionality, etc. While they interact with the system or the prototype at the same time. It turns out uh, to be highly effective resource for uh, capturing aspects related to the cognitive actives of the potential user of the evaluated system. This tool is especially used in the testing stage on a project that is being developed with the design thinking methodology. Okay, so the thinking out loud tool is, is very, very helpful. It helps you a lot to test any kind of prototype or service that you have. So this tool is basically divided in four stages. The first one is that you need to know what are you going to test, a product, a service, or even a script that you are thinking to uh, make an action script or something like that. So you need to know specifically what are you going to do. The second part is the logistics, which means you need to know how much time are you going to take doing that, which kind of form are you going to do it by group, by individual, or, of course, how much time are you going to take? And all the different resources related to the logistics you have to keep in mind right here. Then, uh, when you give the instructions to the people that are going to help you, it's extremely important that you let them speak as out loud as they want to. And, of course, you don't need to be mad or upset if they tell you something that you don't like because this is the idea of the exercise so they can speak freely even if you don't like what they are saying but it's very important that they feel free to to talk then after everyone has talked about their interaction and in the in the process you will have the results Basically, you will have two scenarios. The first one is the approbation. It means that everything is all right and can keep going. But the other one is to rethink and adjust. It means that you have found some issues, very important issues, and you need to change that and rethink and adjust. As a conclusion, we can say when we finish using this tool, must be taking a decision regarding prototype that is evaluating. It is essential that the users uh, that are evaluating this prototype express freely any kind of thought that they have even if you don't like it. The more detailed and expressive they are, the insight will be better and you will have more tools to talk and make uh, rational decisions. So thank you so much. Uh, please subscribe to our channel, Design Thinking 24-7, follow us on social media. Remember that every Monday we have a new video in Spanish, every Thursday we have a new video in English. Thank you to all of you. We are the number one Agile channel and Design Thinking channel in the whole YouTube universe. Thank you so much and we'll see you next time.